Yu-Gi-Oh! is going into another dark age. It's not tier zero tier element, but it may as well be because this is a really, really toxic format. Let's dive on into it, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, you know who it is. This is your host with the most, AVLR32. Destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that like and subscribe button so that hopefully Konami can give us a freaking balance because for Christ's sake, this is really rough, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I hope you all having a fantastic day. I don't ever want to forget that. Thank you all so much for all the support, as always. I don't know what it is that Yu-Gi-Oh! is trying to do because I don't know if Konami is going to pull like another super heavy samurai kill the link monster situation or if they're just going to leave the format alone until august or uh, until september or october because i don't think we're going to get a balance in august hopefully fingers crossed we get something soon because this format is toxic af um for those of y'all who have been living under a rock maybe you've been under patrick star's rock you haven't been playing the game competitively maybe you've just been watching your boy's channel whatever the case may be uh, Red Dragon Archfiend and King Calamity is a fucking card, and it sucks, because there's no way to stop it. <laughs> so, uh, we have the new Synchron stuff out of Duel's Nexus, and everybody, including myself, thought, okay, when this stuff comes in, it's going to be a new face in the Walmart, so to speak, like Robbie Cole put it, which is actually a really funny analogy, because it's really true. You're seeing all the same people at your local Walmart, just now there's a new Walmart greeter at the front door. And that's like what the Synchron stuff is at a Duelist Nexus. I think Nexus is overall a pretty decent set. It's just Revolution Synchron and the Synchron Synchro stuff in general is really the only thing to care about it. And so what we're seeing now is Adventure Synchron and Manadium come to the forefront, specifically in the fact that they are using the new Crimson Dragon card to bring out, well, along with other tuners that they're using, they bring out uh, Bish Balkan, and then they bring out Crimson Dragon, and then in your draw phase, if you don't hit that Super Poly Sugar Boo Bear, then the opponent's going to go Crimson Dragon effect, target Bish Balkan, bounce, summon King Calamity, King Calamity effect, you can't activate any cards, Sugar Boo Bear, and you can't respond to its effects. Eat my ass proper. And it's absolutely garbage, because the only way that you can out King Calamity... And this is why it needs to be banned, is because it says you can't activate any cards or effects, can't activate any effects on the field, uh, cards and effects can't be activated in response to it. Since it's a win effect, if you have Kurakara, then you can at least tribute the Kurakara and have a 3000 beat stick. And if you're in the case like me, where you're playing Sprite purely, then you can like normal summon a level one, maybe use the Kurakara to run over one of their monsters, and then make a Kikinagashi Fuko in defense to guarantee yourself that you're gonna get the ball game back to your turn. Because Kikinagashi sets it's unaffected by card effects and you can detach two materials to prevent it from being destroyed by battle. That's cute. Are you necessarily gonna be able to even mount to come back at that point? Maybe not, but at least it's something. The problem is also that you could play Super Poly, but if you don't open up Super Poly because you can go Super Poly, ditch a card, fuse with the Crimson Dragon and the Baron de Fleur that most likely the Mana Diem slash Synchron player because those are the two decks that I'm currently seeing that are playing the Crimson Dragon, King Calamity stuff, then you can make Dracoe Quest. If you don't hit the Super Poly, then again, you auto lose. There are so few cards in the game, which is insane to say that cannot out this adventure synchron slash manadium or whatever deck that can throw in a bish bulk and crimson dragon and king calamity package in their extra deck like there's no way to out it It just you get blown out you have to have the kurakara and even then that's not a great out but i'm going with it because i don't have enough room to play super poly targets in my 44 card sprite purely main deck <laughs> um or you play super poly yeah, kaijus lavas sphere modes all these things do break the synchro board, which is what I'm going to refer to manadium slash synchron at this point, because instead of saying both, anyway, I'm going to shut up and talk. <laughs> what? I don't even know what that means. You can play all of these board breakers, right? That are like monsters, but it doesn't solve the fact that you still can't play the fucking game. <laughs> so not only do we have King Calamity in the format, right? I also don't think that King Calamity is not going to get hit, little side note, because it's being reprinted in the Jack Atlas structure deck. So you mean to tell me that we're going to have to deal with like another five to six months of King Calamity baby back bullshit? No, absolutely not. Yu-Gi-Oh! is in a point right now where we have so many auto-win button cards, if you think about it. We have King Calamity now. We have, 
or have had for a while, eradicator epidemic virus. We had, well, we did have artifact scythe. We have a uh, gimmick puppet lock. And to a lesser extent, we did have mythical beast circuit and uh, Raw's disciple, but that was with branded expulsion. Now they've got sanctifier. Uh, and it seems like almost every deck in the game can do some sort of auto win button. Heroes have dark angel. Now granted dark angel only stops spells. So like, unless you're a runic player, then yeah, you're crapping your pants. And I understand that heroes are rogue, but it's the fact that even a deck like heroes can bust out arguably an auto win card. And honestly, it's probably the most fair of all the auto win cards because it only shuts off your spells. But like branded has gimmick puppet, synchro decks, any deck that can commit to level 12s can make a great uh, King Calamity. I almost said Great Calamity like it's fucking Zelda. <laughs> like, you have all of these auto-win buttons. Any deck that can make a Dark Monster for 2,500 more attack can play Eradicator, and you're basically playing four copies, six if you max out, on Trap Trick. And it's like, Konami really needs to clean up the format. Like, the, I, I don't... It might be a stretch to say that tier element format was better because I kind of took a break during that time and just kind of focused on making videos. I still played, but like tier element was just dog water. But I don't think anyone can deny that we have so many auto win button cards now. You know, back when we had Red Reboot, at least if you activated a trap card, you maybe had the one of Red Reboot or three when it was at three. Now, with eradicator and all these like auto win traps and i shouldn't say all the auto win traps but primarily like the virus cards like deck debbie and eradicator you basically have no way to stop the eradicator we don't have red reboot so if you're going second how are you supposed to negate an eradicator you can't like you just have to be like well okay i'm losing these three spell cards or like chain a twin twister pitch a card and pop more back row like it's really toxic in that regard. And it makes more sense now looking back on the ban list that we got a couple of months ago where they banned branded expulsion. People are like, just ban the problem card. But instead of having to put like all of those cards on the ban list, you could just hit expulsion. And then even though branded has a card like Sanctifier that can still gimmick puppet lock you, at least it's in the form of a monster and not a trap. Because if it's a trap, you basically can't do anything about it unless you just DD crow the targets. Same goes for Sanctifier, but now you can use Imperm. Now you can use Valor. You have these other options available to you instead of it being expulsion where you basically have to have the Ghost Bell or the DD Crow or I guess the Buy Steel to another extent. And if you don't, then you better just bend over and take it because you're going to get Gimmick Puppet Sugar Boo Bear. And I'm so sick of it. Like I can easily see on our next ban list like Eradicator getting banned. Maybe Gimmick Puppet gets banned unless they want to go for the Albion line, which I don't know if they will. Uh, King Calamity needs to be banned, but again, I don't know if they're going to ban that because that's in the Jack Atlas structure deck. Or maybe they just reprint it in the structure deck, but they still ban the card anyway. I mean, there's got to be something that Konami can do here where even if they pull another super heavy samurai situation, a month after the deck becomes full power, they ban the Link Monster. You know, a month after Adventure Synchron becomes full power, they ban Junk Speeder. I'm not saying that they would ban Junk Speeder, but just as an example. But even with that being an example, I don't really think that they could ban the Junk Speeder because, like, that's the heart and soul of the deck. Like, you just kill it off if you ban the Junk Speeder. And I'm sure people are saying, like, well, Avery, just play the out. Just draw the out. Well, you know, even in a 40-card deck, hell, a 41-card deck, if you're playing three Super Poly, three of a card that can out the board, you only have, like, a 39% chance to draw the fucking thing. So it's like, I'll just go play Solitaire instead. Like... Uh, Yugi, this is why I'm saying that Yu-Gi-Oh is in a really bad spot right now because of all these auto win button cards, especially now with King Calamity in the mix, that if you don't go first, if you don't win that die roll now more than ever, you are going to probably lose that ball game. And I know some people think, well, I'll just play Dark Ruler now they're monsters. I mean, sure, that works if they don't go for the King Calamity, but like, if they do, you can't play it because it says you can't play cards. Uh, like, not to mention the other stuff that, like, the synchro stuff can end on with, like, Manadium reframing, Dispater, Baron, like, it's, it's disgusting. Oh, and all of that aside, <laughs> maybe you haven't ran into that. Maybe you ran into the fact that they can Omega you for two. That's not including if they're, like, playing Trishula and Enter Blathnir and just looping your hand for, like, five cards and you're just sitting there like... This sucks. <laughs> like, it really sucks. Ugh, like, Konami, why are we having these issues? Like, 
why. I, I can't even think of anything else to say at this point because I'm trying to do all of this testing for these three regionals I have back to back to back. And it's just like, man, it's really hard to play test when you don't win that die roll or that rock, paper, scissors in the case of simulators. And like, they just king calamity or butthole. And you're just like, next game. Like, there's just nothing that you can do. And like, at least with tier element, at least like, it was interaction. Like, if you play tier, if you played that mirror match, then you had the chain links that you could resolve. You could kind of play the game. But like, King Calamity just says you ain't playing. Like, <laughs> you just don't get to play. Oh my God. Just take it out back behind the barn and shoot it, Konami. Can we have a ban list, please? Please. Uh, stockholders, I need to go buy me some Konami stock and I'm going to email Konami and say, I'm a stockholder with a ban list. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe that's the 4D chess game that we got to fucking play is that we all got to go and buy stocks because we we can afford us expensive cardboard. We can afford some stock, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? And then we all go into the shareholders meeting and say, what a ban list that? We type it in the chat box or something. <laughs> this is dog water. Guys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.